Hey, what's going on everyone? Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make more money reselling on eBay or other platforms that you're on by using Instagram. If you're not currently on Instagram or you have an Instagram account, but you don't really know how to use it, this video is definitely for you because you need to be on the platform. It's going to help you out significantly. Uh, now, if you're somebody who knows Instagram really well, I'm not going to be able to get to every single nook and cranny of Instagram here. So uh, feel free to put some comments down below for people who are newer uh, to the platform so that uh, they could get some additional advanced tips uh, from you on there. So uh, what is Instagram, first of all, for people who are completely unfamiliar with it? Uh, it is a, a photo and video sharing social media network but there's a lot of additional things that you could do on there when i describe it that way it makes it sound like you can't send anything that has to do with text uh, but you can put text on there and uh, we're going to go through uh, different examples here i'm going to share my screen with you and show you the basics a lot of people have asked me to make a video about this hearing me talk about uh, instagram so uh, let's go over to uh, my screen here. And this is what your, uh, basically your main screen will look like. Uh, now I have it here up on the desktop and you can use it on the, on the desktop to view uh, Instagram posts, but you can't use it to make posts. For that, you are going to need to have your phone and use that. And I'll show you some things uh, with the phone a little bit uh, later, but you'll you'll want to bring it up on here. Uh, so, but for an easier visual display for you, let me show you some things on the desktop. So, um, everyone's gonna you know when you sign up, you're gonna have an account. Mine is Prime underscore Time underscore Treasure, and so you could see here I'm logged in. I'll give you a close up of it in a moment, and you'll see that there's some icons on the top of the page there, and that's going to correlate by the way with your phone, and I know you're going to see some glare from my ring lights there, but when you go on your phone, you're going to see some uh, people's icons up top, and then you're going to scroll and scroll and scroll, and you're going to see these types of main posts. So these, they're separate types of posts. What you're seeing here is a main post, and what's up top is called a story, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But let me just show you an example of something that popped up here on my screen. This is from uh, Carolina Finds Treasures. There's some underscores between uh, the, the words there. And you can see here, this is a collage of photos. And Instagram allows you to do this, by the way. You could take several photos and assemble them really quickly uh, into a collage like this. Now, what are these pictures? Well, it's something that Carolina Finds Treasures is selling. So we look here, and you might not be able to see it too well, so I'll just highlight and read it. But it says, 1920s Oakland, San Francisco Bay Area boxing memorabilia, fashion and fun, new photos in my shop, link in bio or DM, which is direct message for more information. So what the person is doing here is using these photos as a way to quickly grab attention for people who are generally going through on their phone. Uh, who might be interested in something like this and then look into it a little bit more in depth to make a purchase. And you could click uh, on the photos sometimes to make them uh, bigger or enhance them uh, on your phone. But this is actually big enough. I don't need to do anything uh, with it here. Now, there's a few things I want to tell you about the uh, about these uh, pictures here and about the words that you see uh, underneath it. So the main thing I want to point out is here where you're gonna see there are what we call hashtags that are associated with the photos. The hashtag is this little uh, number sign. It's right above the number three on your keyboard. And you can see there are these uh, keywords basically that are, that's basically what a hashtag is. It's a keyword that someone would search for. So you can see here, for example, it says vintage Oakland because these photos remember are from 1920s Oakland. And then there's vintage San Francisco, Historics, uh, historic San Francisco, historic boxing, Fight City, and San Francisco Bay. So all those had a have a hashtag next to it. 
Now, a lot of times people ask me, why put a hashtag in? What does that exactly do? Well, let's say I'm somebody who is interested in memorabilia from Oakland. Well, I might go on to Instagram. So I'm going to go over to another tab here. And I might just go into the search field right here. And I might just type in vintage Oakland. Okay, I'll even backtrack a second here. And I'll just go hashtag vintage Oakland. And we'll, we'll do the search. And it tells me here there's 573 posts for that. And I'll scroll down and look, I'll see all sorts of different pictures and stuff. And if I click on the picture, I'll get the textual information. So look what we see here. If I'm scrolling through this real quickly, I am. this might jump out to me if I'm looking for something black and white. Now I get to Carolina Finds Treasures um, uh, pictures here and uh, the detail about it. And you know this might pique my interest. So now... If I want to go to find it, the problem is there's no link that's here, right? And that's the thing. Instagram does not allow a link to be put in the actual uh, main uh, post here. So you can't do that. Uh, now, there's some ways around this. If we use Instagram stories and you have a certain amount of followers, I'll talk to you about that in a moment. But what I did is I clicked on, and let me backtrack that again just to show you exactly what I did. I just clicked on Carolina Finds Treasures right here. And you could see here, this is their main profile page. And what we could do is we could just go here and there you're allowed to have one link. This is called your bio link or sometimes people will call it their profile link. And you could see here that the link that Carolina Finds Treasures chose to put is the link to uh, their eBay store. So it says, check out my vintage finds on eBay. So there we go. We click it and it brings us right over to their page. And here we could go and then find the items for sale. And then we could um, you know, see all these different sorts of pictures. In fact, this might even be the one right here. Uh, well, here's some other boxing. These are some other boxing photos. But the point is, is that it brings you over to the page where you could then do the search and you could go find whatever it is uh, that you're looking for. And that is one way to make money by promoting your item or items in that way. Uh, it could be that your, your own people who follow you, um, who are other resellers or maybe not, um, maybe they're not resellers. They might just see it, be interested in it and make a purchase. Uh, or uh, they might just be somebody completely random who was not following you and just happened to do a search for, like I said here, uh, vintage uh, Oakland and make a purchase that way. Now, the bigger the um, or the broader the search term, the more results they're going to be for it and the harder it's going to be to get uh, found and discovered. So for example, vintage San Francisco probably has a lot more stuff in it than vintage Oakland. So if I typed in vintage San Francisco, uh, we've got 3,031 posts there. So compare that to 533.7 for vintage Oakland. And so now it's going to be trickier to find it. Although uh, you do see it's still right over here because this was done relatively uh, recently. So uh, it's still showing up, um, you know, pretty close towards the top. But, you know, if you have one where there's millions of possible posts in there, then it's going to be, you know, much harder to find. So, for example, if my hashtag was just San Francisco, this is going to be trickier because now look at this. Now. I've got 29 million posts to sort through. So you want to think about that when you are creating your hashtags. Now, let me show you my profile right here. So this is uh, prime underscore time underscore treasure. And you can see here you're allowed to put in some information about you. Uh, here, I do have my one link, uh, but my one link is actually um, done through a program called Linktree. 
So this is something you definitely want to do if you have more than your eBay store that you want to try to promote. And if you have other aspects of your reselling business. And as you know, I have this YouTube channel. I have a Facebook group. I have a whole bunch of things that uh, you know I want people to know about. So being limited to one link is a real problem. So if you click here on link tree, what you'll see is that one link then opens up into a tree of other links. So it links to my merchandise store, it links to my YouTube channel, my eBay store, my reselling group, you know, TikTok, all sorts of things. No, I'm not very active on TikTok, but uh, it, I still do have a profile there and it links to it. So if you want to, um, you know, get something like that, you just click over to link tree over here. And I'm not trying to sell the program. There is a free program. There's a professional program. Uh, but whether or not you get that is totally up to you. This No one paid me to do this video or anything like that. Just trying to help people out with Instagram. But this is just a little behind the scenes on how it works. And if you want to just create a new link, you just hit add new link and you enter you know, your title and then you enter your URL, which is just you know whatever the... Um, web address is to whatever it is you want to promote. And then you could attach little icons to it, little images and things like that. So, um, you know, it's up to you how you want to use it. Um, you could see here, for example, uh, one of the ways that I use it is to let people know about certain items that I have uh, up for sale. So um, you got to decide how you want to do it, how you want to do things for your audience. Um, you know, some people just put, hey, I have something up for sale. Come by, check it out. That's how I want to do it. Um, when I try, when I do things like um, posts for things that uh, have sold, usually what I like to do is I like to give people some additional educational information about it. So I'll put up something that I'll call a prime time tip. I just, you know, give it kind of like a little funny uh, branding name. And in this instance here, I don't always do this, but for something that I ha have currently actively for sale, sometimes I'll provide some educational information about that as well, besides just the promotional information about, you know, how much it costs and, and what it is. So here you could see, for example, I put a picture up uh, from my eBay page. This is my main picture of a lot of five vintage Husky Helpers Fisher Price toys for $17.99. And in here, I'd say primetime tip, these vintage toys, and notice how I hashtag those. I hashtag vintage and I hashtag toys were made in the 1970s and 1980s, and I hashtag those as well. So don't forget to hashtag your years. By Fisher Price, which I also hashtagged in case people search that. They are 3.5 inches and known as Husky Helpers. You will commonly see them at garage sales, flea markets, and estate sales they can be easily missed because they have no markings on them. Lot them up and sell them, even if you have duplicates. These are available in my eBay store. Then parentheses say link in bio. So this main post section is a way where you could add a lot more text compared to what you could put uh, in the story area. So if we go over to the story tab, and that would, for me, uh, to, to access it myself here, I'm just going to click on my uh, my own icon. And you could see here what I did. And I'm going to have to keep clicking this because it only stays up for 15 uh, seconds. Uh, this is a quick visual where you don't put as much text in. So you could see there, I said, I used to play with these as a kid. Uh, did you? And you're able to insert a little poll there. So yes or no. So it's a way to interact with your audience. Then it says what the price is available in my eBay store. And you could see there down below, I hashtagged eBay. I hashtagged Fisher Price. And then I put a little uh, graphic in there that flashes that says link in bio. And so that again comes from that top banner uh, area right over here uh, where you could uh, just go quickly access and just kind of see what it is that people are are doing. So let me just click on here. I'm just going to click on some of these and we'll just go through and see what some other people are doing. So we'll start with uh, Rob, the Aussie VHS thrifter. Now you could see here he's using it to promote his wide world of reselling um, YouTube uh, show. So uh, go by and check out Rob. I interviewed him a couple of uh, weeks ago over in Australia. Now, this story got deleted, but this is Drew from uh, Profit Monsters. 
And you could put audio uh, on here. I haven't enabled the audio for this because if a song plays and you could put music into your Instagram stories, then I'm going to get a copyright violation on um, on YouTube, and I don't want that. But you could see here uh, what Drew is doing is he's showing people some of the things that he picked up while out thrifting, and he's showing some uh, sold prices. Sometimes people like to use Instagram to show things that they have sold. Uh, I do that myself. And the reason for that is, you know, part of it, you want to show people that you're happy that you made a sale. Uh, you want to give people ideas of things that they can sell. But at the same time, also uh, what will happen is that someone might see it and say, wow, you sold um, some He-Man and Masters of the Universe figures. Well, maybe he has some more and to go over and check out your store. Maybe you're someone who sold some clothes and someone says, oh, maybe she has more shoes like that. I like those. And they go over and they look and then maybe they make a purchase. This is Gem Mint and Comic Tom and they're advertising some of their videos that they have out. Um, this is a side hustle network putting up some information about goals that they have uh, for the new year. Uh, what some people will do as well is they will use Instagram as a way to make personal connections with their uh, community. So uh, one of the best at doing that, actually, uh, here they are right here, is uh, Rally Roots. So I'm going to click on the uh, Rally Roots page here, and some of the information is gone because it, it stays up in stories for 24 hours. But what you could see here is, as you know, from following Rally Roots, they sell a lot of uh, t-shirts. I had them on uh, earlier this uh, last year. It was a lot of fun. We we're talking about their t-shirt business. And here you can see they're using it to show some of the t-shirts uh, that they have available for sale. And you can see right there, they're using a text banner to put the name of one of their websites outside of eBay that you could then go to and make a purchase. So it's a very smart use uh, of the platform to add that text in plus the visuals. Uh, you want to try to come up with things that are relatively quick. These are not meant to be like long YouTube videos. If you want to do something like that with Instagram, they have something called IGTV. It's a separate app and you can make videos up to an hour and you, you basically could integrate it with Instagram, but it is meant to be something separate. You could access it on a separate panel on Instagram when you open it up uh, with your phone. But uh, anyway, you can see the point of what Ryan is doing here is he's showing again, all different. I'm just moving it forwards a little bit just to speed it up. But you could see here, he's just doing a good job of just showing off all the different types of, uh, you know, shirts that he has available. And you could do this with whatever item you have. Uh, this is a good idea too, because uh, one of the things that he did, I'm moving back a little bit. I don't know if it's still here, but he had a thing up where he had about six shirts or seven or eight shirts that were available. And then, so that was the original post. And then once one of them sold out, he put the same graphic up and then just right over the one shirt that sold out, he put sold out on it. So that helped to create some pressure for people to, you know, go over and, and make the, make the sale. Now, here's another thing you could see here. He's sharing something from another follower. This is something that Ohio thrifters uh, wrote about them. And so that's another way of using Instagram is that you're sharing information from others. And generally the way things work is that if you share information about others, they will share information about you. So for example, when I put up that I did this video today, I'll probably uh, wind up tagging with that at symbol, the at symbol right there, see at Rally Roots. That's how Ohio thrifters tagged Rally Roots. You just put that little at symbol behind their user username, their profile name, and then that will alert that person that you mentioned them in their in their story. So um, that's how you do it. But I'll probably, you know, when I put this up on Instagram, I'll, um, you know, put um, one of the notifications up so that Rally Roots knows that I tag them and I'll tag Carolina Fines and, you know, Drew from Profit Monster. So those people know that they were mentioned here uh, in this video. Now I will, I'll make, let me make the volume go on this one because this will show you how Rally Roots just, you know, just puts a little personal behind the scenes with, this is how Ryan and Allie kind of connect with their viewers a bit. So let me just hit this. Hey babe, Allie, it's, it's DBT. <laughs> Do you get it? Because it's T. Because there's T in it. <laughs> yeah. 
go on, Ryan. So, um, so yeah, so, you know, just make little funny jokes, just show something behind the scenes. Oh, there's what I'm talking about. Now, when I first saw this image, there was only the mask one that was sold out. But now you could see here that two of them are sold out. So it's a smart way, again, of creating more pressure. Now, I'll uh, here's uh, two Aussie thrifters. Here, here's another example of how to use it. If you're trying to promote your YouTube channel, uh, great right there. Shed to storage warehouse. Stay tuned. You're letting someone know about something that's coming uh, later on. You could even do that for your eBay store. You could show people things that you source that you're going to be putting up in your store soon. So you could create some anticipation with it. All that helps generate money for your business. And here's a good example of social media sharing. This is two Aussie thrifters sharing information about Diary of a Flipper and his YouTube channel. So that is a basic tutorial about uh, how to use uh, stories. And I'm going to just scroll down the main screen here a bit and show you some other things. Now, this is another popular thing people will do uh, on Instagram is that they will share motivational quotes. And so motivation is a big thing. These quotes are, are, are cool. And uh, people like to see those and they'll share them. And uh, it'll just you know, a way to kind of get you connected uh, with other people. Now, another really cool thing that could help you out with your eBay business, and this is with regards to the uh, Instagram stories, is that, let me go here and click this again. Now, what you could see here is that there's no link here. I can't put any kind of link in there for people to click. If they want, again, to get to these items right now, they have to actually go to my link tree and then go to my eBay store. But you could see here, I have 7,435 followers. One of my goals this year is to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. And that should be everybody's goal who's on Instagram. Why is that important? Not just because it's cool to say you have 10,000, but once you have 10,000 followers on Instagram, then what you can do is you could add a link to this Instagram story so that when people are on their phone and they access it, all they have to do is swipe up and then they are taken immediately right to your link. So what would happen is here's my phone. They would get right here and all they would do is swipe up like that. And then it would literally take them to my eBay listing. That's exactly uh, what would happen there. So uh, that is, um, you know, that, that is cool. Uh, so let's go back here and scroll down. Um, these are just some other ways for me to show you how I use my, um, how I use my page. So sometimes I'll use it. Here's a little sneak peek on some what's sold. So, you know, tell people what's sold here. I sold this Molson sign for $79.99. And then once again, I put a whole bunch of, um, you know, just kind of helpful tips and information. So it's not just, you know, hey, look what I sold. It's here, look what I sold. But here's also some information about that you might find useful. And so again, that could that could drive people over to your eBay store to look for similar items. Um, or, you know, if you mention something about, hey, I found this in an estate sale hall video, um, they might say, hey, I'm going to come over to your YouTube channel because that's what I did here. I said, some of you may remember it from a haul video I did last year. Oh, really? That sounds cool. Let me go over to the YouTube channel. Then maybe they go over to the YouTube channel and they find something that you mentioned that's in your eBay store. And then they go over to your eBay store. And maybe they make a purchase that way. So the point of what I'm trying to say here is that all of these different networks that you have in reselling, they all need to be interconnected in some way. That's why you see me on my YouTube channel here at the end. I often mention my Facebook group somewhere. I mention my Instagram account. And on my Instagram, I mention my YouTube and my eBay. All those things should be interconnected and cross-linked. They should not be separate from one, another, from one another. You need to figure out a way to make them all mesh together in a way that makes sense. Now you could see below here, I have a whole bunch of hashtags like reseller, resellers, uh, eBay, eBay sellers, all sorts of things. So um, have a core set of hashtags that you're going to use, save them somewhere. This way you just cut and paste them so you don't have to keep typing them out every single time and then just customize them depending on what it is. You know, if there's something special or unique about it, you know, if you wanted to say something about comics, but you don't usually talk about comics, then you do hashtag comics. So have your core base and then add those extra ones in uh, after that. So 
Uh, so I'll do things like what's sold, like here's something that Mrs. Primetime sold, some furniture, you know, and, um, you know, people will, people will, uh, they'll like it. You see, there's this little heart button here. So you could see it was liked by Jesse shops. Thank you very much, Jesse. Uh, everyone should go follow her by the way. She's awesome. And 127 other people. And so what I do is when someone comments on something from one of my things that I post, then that's an indication to me that that person is trying to engage with me, uh, in a meaningful way. And then what I do is I'll follow that person back. So it's a, that's a way, you know, you could kind of come up with your own criteria on how you want to refollow people. Some, some people just follow everybody that follows them. Uh, but, um, you know, you got to just use whatever criteria it is that, that works for you. That makes it easier. So, uh, that's that. I also use it to promote my, uh, YouTube videos. So you could see here is my last video and I promote it on here and I'll have, um, a thumbnail that I also wind up promoting. Uh, for this video on Instagram. It's another way in which you're trying to integrate uh, things together. So, uh, you know, there's all sorts of things. Also, just general messages to your followers like, hey, here, happy New Year's 2021. You know, remember, you know, you you should try to develop a brand uh, for your eBay business and, you know, for the, your customers. Remember, the people who are going to follow you are not always going to be other resellers. Some of them will, but some will be people in the general public who, who like you and who like your brand and they want to see what you have going on. And the more you can engage them, even though I'm showing you some things that are about, you know, behind the scenes and showing you like a joke that Rally Roots did, all that stuff is important to keep your customers engaged with you uh, so that they feel tied uh, with your brand. That's what you want. You want that and you've got to try to create uh, that relationship uh, with them. So um, another thing that is real important. And I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to scroll down is you could really, you now, sometimes you're going to just see, again, some other things that aren't directly related to reselling. Here's some stuff about, um, you know, some, some yummy food that makes me hungry. I'm going to have to stop soon for lunch, but, uh, you could learn a lot from people in terms of short little video clips that they put on. And that could definitely help you with your reselling business. So people are going to use this to teach you some educational stuff. Uh, let me show you, for example, someone who's great at this, which is Tim from Osborne to Thrift. So he'll put up these quick little video uh, clips in which he teaches you some information. Here, let me let me just play this one, for example, from, from Tim. Let's put the volume up here. I just posted about were these curl formers. I don't pick these up very often, but it was only $4.95, and I found two of them for that. And I should get 25 to 30 plus shipping for these. So uh, not bad. Let's do another. Keep your eyes open for these vintage Oster massagers. They're very easy to notice at thrift stores. I paid $7.95 for this one and should get $35 to $50 plus shipping. Keep now, your eyes open for these vintage Oster massagers. They're very... Now, that's information that you just learned from watching those two very short clips. Keep that in mind when you're creating. People want very short clips generally when they're watching things on Instagram. You also notice that it says TikTok right on the top. This is shared from TikTok. So if you have a TikTok account and you're making these quick little clips, you just press one button and it goes right over. It posts it automatically to Instagram. So it's killing two birds with one stone. So keep that in mind uh, as well. Another person who is awesome at doing this, I've had Tim on my channel for interviews. So check that out. Check out Tim's YouTube channel is Carrie from American Arbitrage. He does these short little clips all the time uh, as well. As you can see, uh, let me go to his main, let me try to bring up Carrie's main page and you'll see more of these types of clips. Hold on a second. American arbitrage. Here we go. Let me get to his main thing. Cause that'll bring us, cause those were his stories, but I want to bring you to his main clip. So let's bring up, uh, this one right here, here. The thrift store always look thoroughly through the electronics. This is a freestyle two split USB keyboard. It splits in half and works. It's only three ninety nine, and I should be able to flip it for thirty to thirty five dollars plus shipping. When you're looking for items to flip at the thrift store, so you see that is awesome. That is just really great information. Here's another one. I'll just click on. I never saw this one. This is a stay away from. So let's see what he has to say about this one. 
a definite buy. It's a Disneyland mug. It's got Grumpy on it, and it's only a dollar. But look inside. It has damage and what they call crazing. That happens a lot in mugs. Look out for crazing. You don't want to buy those mugs. Just put them back. Usually this mug. Okay, so even if, and this is why I'm telling you you should use Instagram, because even if, if you do not use it to promote any of your own things, you will learn so much information and make so many connections with other resellers that you will just make more money just from the knowledge that you get that you could then go apply uh, to when you go out and source. Now, I'm going to show you real quick how to access some of these features on your phone before we wrap up. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to Brenda from uh, the Jaded Gypsy uh, eBay store. Uh, all members of my uh, YouTube channel, I've uh, just created a new perk where I will put a link to your eBay store in the comments and also in the description section. And sometimes I might also show it here on the screen uh, like this. This is for all members. So thank you to everyone who uh, has joined and uh, go over Check out uh, uh, Brenda's store. She's got uh, 300 items about uh, listed. A lot of cool things, and uh, you know, check out uh, check out what she's got and uh, support her if there's something that you see uh, that you like. So the link will be again down below in the description section and in the comments. So let me just get off of here uh, for a second. Now I know you're going to see a little bit of glare here, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I just want to give you, and you're not going to be able to see all the buttons exactly. But just so you know, when you get on Instagram, again, these are the stories. A lot of people miss these. This is where you're going to access the actual stories I was just showing you. And you could just go over to the other one. Here's one by Gem Mint, for example. And you just click on whoever it is that you're interested in seeing. And you could just see what it is that they have going on the stories. And this is the main post area that I was showing you on the screen. And you're just going to scroll up. And that's how you're going to access it. To create a post, a main post here like this, all you're going to do is hit this plus symbol uh, right up top. So you see that? Let me see that right there. All we're going to do is press that, and then that's going to access your photos. And then you just click the photo that you want. I'm sorry, you just actually hit next, and it'll bring it up. And then you could just, you could usually shrink it a little bit, although this one just fits to screen. And you could do little adjustments with it uh, down below. And then this is where you would write your little caption and you could put in like your hashtags and all sorts of stuff. And then you would just share it and that's it. Another thing you could do, by the way, is if you go on the bottom, you're going to see all sorts of other features. Um, one of which is called live. So you could go live with people who follow you and you could even run your own auction if you want on Instagram or just connect with people that way. You could do what are called reels which are just like quick, fun, entertaining, usually like 15 second little clips, kind of like TikTok clips. Um, and uh, you can make those as well. Um, and if you want to make something for your stories, you just want to click here, click your little icon. You'll always see that there, or it will just um, have like a little plus sign on it. If you don't have a story up yet, I do. So it doesn't have a plus sign on it, but you would just click it. And now you'll see there's a plus sign let me get that a little closer. There's a little blue plus sign on it. And you will just click that again. And now it allows me to access my phone and my photos. So I'm going to just go right over here. There's my photos. I would click it. I would bring it right here. And now up top, if I wanted to add text, I could just, I just hit that top button over there with the letters and I could just add text like that to it backtrack off of it. And if you want to add little other features, what you do, there's a little icon here. It looks like something, it looks like a little piece of paper that's being folded. You just click that and it gives you all sorts of things to access. For example, music, you click that and you could put all sorts of music clips into your video. I like to do that for fun in my stories. Um, you could, ha you have a hashtag button where you could just easily uh, hashtag a certain keyword. And Here's the at symbol if you want to tag someone. So if I wanted to tag um, the Midwest picker, I would just hit Midwest and starts coming up. I do that. And there we go. I just tagged Midwest picker. 
So that's how it works, folks. I'm going to wrap this up. But if you have questions, let me know down below. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next one, everyone. Take care.